Good afternoon, folks. How's it going out there? Welcome back here to a Sunday. Hope everyone's having a wonderful weekend out here. August 24th, 2025 is the date, 1222 p.m. California time here. Latest activity shows a 4.5 earthquake across the uh, western tech, uh, Turkey area. Excuse me. Little swarm of aftershock activity there from that six-pointer that stirred up. Oh, it's been, uh, let's see what we got. How, how long ago was that? Looks like on the 10th of August. So we're still seeing quite a bit of aftershock activity there. USGS showing a handful, but obviously there's a lot more below the 4.0 threshold that they normally use for reporting quakes there on their website. Uh, quite a bit of earthquake activity out there. Nothing else going around uh, across the region there that I can see. Uh, newer activity overnight, uh, pretty good movement across the crunch zone here. Got a lot of clustering going on across the Indonesia area, back over here across Papua New Guinea as well. Also some newer movement up here into the Nankai Trough. That uh, 4.3 earthquake coming in this morning. I don't believe the USGS is reporting that, but uh, got some activity stirring up here. We'll see it on the EMSC map here real quick. Take a look real quick and see where that uh, four pointer's at. It's going to be this quake. Uh, pretty shallow. It shows about 10 kilometers or so in that area. Some further activity around the Taiwan region as well. So, um, definitely got some movement going on here. We can see it on the globe quite a bit here across Papua New Guinea area eastward. Uh, New Zealand region looks like a deeper earthquake. Uh, in between North and South Island there with a 3.3 earthquake there. Some aftershock activity across the region of the Kamchatka area, Russia. Let's go ahead and see what we got going on here across the uh, West Coast. Nothing showing up here on the map, but got to remember this is the weekend. And for the most part, uh, if, the, if it's above a certain threshold, it'll pop up here on the map as far as the magnitudes go. But for the, mo uh, the majority of the quakes... Looks like there's nothing going on there, right? But that's not the case here. Just the USGS tends to not report earthquakes on the weekends and holidays for whatever reason. Uh, let's go over here to the trimmer map from yesterday. Show you guys the Cascadia trimmer. Mainly down south there, across northern California. That was 164 epicenters of trimmer. We'll check the uh, trimmer count later tonight. But I do want to double check the Mount Rainier. And a couple other volcanoes here. See if we got any earthquake activity across this area. This is uh, up at uh, Camp Sherman area. Mount Rainier. I, I still think some of these are earthquakes. They can't all be ice quakes. Uh, there may be some ice quakes out there. But I do believe this is still part of the swarm that's going on there. Across the uh, Mount Rainier area. Nothing big. It looks nothing like what it did back in uh, July. Let me show you a little example here of... What it looked like when it was really kicking up, that's what it looked like. A lot more uh, well-defined lines, you know, but uh, we were seeing hundreds of earthquakes there a day. It has dropped down, obviously, uh, since then, but there's still, you know, what looks like still earthquake activity out here. Uh, I don't believe for a second that all these are just ice quakes. Uh, I, I don't. So that's for Mount Rainier. Uh, We'll check out Mount St. Helens here real quick, see if anything's going on there. Uh, we working? Oh, that's a little odd. Kind of hung up on me here. You guys see that? It's not me. Specifically, it's just a site. <laughs> All right. Uh, may have to come back and check on that. Is it just Mount St. Helens? I think it is a glacier peak up here not really all that monitored even though it's a it's a volcano that should be monitored uh, looks like maybe a couple spikes out there some earthquakes nothing big I haven't even really looked at the mount uh, or this uh, glacier peak seismograph station in a while this is the uh, six pointer there from yesterday the El Salvador area knows those uh, fairly broad S waves traveling across the planet for a couple hours. A couple earthquakes there. Uh, unless those are ice quakes as well, but uh, I don't recall seeing stuff like this in years past where this would show up. In the wintertime, yes, but not when it's, you know, a little bit warmer out there. 
So I do think that's some earthquake activity stirring up out there as well across uh, Glacier Peak. Let's uh, check the Mount St. Helens again, see if it's going to work. Uh, it's hung up just specifically on Mount St. Helens here, so we'll uh, have to check back on that. West Coast activity, Northern California, one earthquake here. That's actually from yesterday, a little 2.3. Nothing new to report there. Uh, I don't see anything major showing up here on the seismograph stations across Northern California. Pretty quiet. Handful of smaller qu quakes across the Bay Area. Southern California down here looks a little spotty. Nothing going on as far as 2.5 and above goes for California. That's from yesterday. Actually, this is just after midnight, it looks like. Just off the San Andreas Fault there around the uh, creeping section for 2.7. Also, some earthquake activity there in Nevada around the Utah border there for 2.6. But uh, for the most part, earthquake activity in general, minor. Not seeing a whole lot of activity across the West Coast for now. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, some earthquake activity there from yesterday, mainly outside of the area. Uh, but I do want to see... Yeah, it's still hung up like that. That's crazy. Uh, I do want to see what's going on there across Yellowstone real quick. Uh, seismograph station uh, showing some earthquake activity from yesterday. It looks like a couple more overnight. These are not big earthquakes. Probably, uh, I'm guessing these may be around the 1 range or so. Magnitude 1, maybe slightly higher but or slightly lower. There's some smaller ones in here as well. But still got earthquake activity out there. Uh, if they decide to look at them on Monday morning, they'll add them up to the earthquake catalog, which is the USGS book here, and then we'll have to go back and see what all they added for the weekend events but again it's a it's a weekend and earthquakes in this area as well go unreported uh, unless it's above i think it's a 2.5 they got different preliminary data systems for different areas the pacific northwest and whatnot yellowstone uh, i believe the east coast as well southern california down here about the only area that really reports all the earthquakes even very small ones such as that little 0.9 on the uh, Anza station. I believe that, well, let's see if it showed up. There it is. Down there on the bottom, little point nine. Okay, let's see if there's anything else going on here. Oil fields, slightly uh, seen some activity today. Really nothing big, just some ones and occasional twos. A little bit less active out here today. And again, the eastern portion of the country, nothing showing up there on the map. Uh, and it probably won't until Monday morning or so. So take a look here at the broad view of things. Largest earthquake in the last 24 hours and after midnight goes to a 5.4. Pretty deep earthquake here across the Tonga Trench. 216 miles deep for that five-pointer. Uh, that should stir things up a little bit further out across this region does look like it's already uh, kicking up following that deeper movement. Got a little swarm of activity bouncing back and forth here around Papua New Guinea. Uh, I believe that's a result of this deeper quake uh, that struck out here this morning. Puerto Rico area, a handful of quakes around there. Nothing big, some twos, even a 3.9. Uh, South America region got uh, quite a bit of movement down here across the Chile area a bunch of threes and even a four pointer a couple fours out there there's that five pointer from yesterday some further aftershock sequences there from that 7.5 around the Drake's Passage area a little odd earthquake or a big earthquake in an odd area there a couple days ago Atlantic Ocean quiet and um, looks like a typical day out here for earthquake activity uh, slightly, I would probably say this is slightly below average. I mean, if you really think about it, a four-pointer uh, being, well, actually a five-pointer here. Low grade five being the largest here. So, minor earthquake day out here for now. Space weather activity, we are consistently uh, sizzling here in the sea flare with occasional M-flare activity. That is due to a number of sunspots out here coming off the eastern limb uh back uh, when's this uh, image out let's see here 
823. So this is, uh, that's old. That's an older image. Here's the newest one. That's a little interesting there that they have the oldest imagery uh, up here for the latest imagery. See, it says latest up here, and this is actually showing an older image. So we do have, I guess we got to go with this one here. Kind of neat with the sunspot numbers on here. And it is current for the most part, 824. That's at 1500. I believe that's UTC time, so even this is a few hours old, but it does give us a better view. I wonder if that image was old from last night as well. I was wondering why those uh, these sunspots were not getting visible. You know, they were they were hanging out here on the eastern limb for a little bit. So I'm thinking we were looking at the older images there from yesterday or from yeah, a couple days ago. But here's the latest one. Um, Definitely got to watch this area back here. There's some complexity within that sunspot region. Uh, also, another sunspot up here on the uh, towards the northeastern uh, limb of the sun. Should be another one behind that. Yeah, that's from a couple days ago. That's crazy. So hopefully they fix that. Anyway, let's see here if they got the far side region updated nope this is from uh well technically this would be two days old because of that utc time so these two areas are already in at least this one and this one up here i think there's another one coming that should uh be making its uh presence known here soon either way the importance of this is that it's starting to uh kick up in the flare department notice quite a few bright features out here in the uv image even this area back over here is starting to show a little bit of complexity uh, resulting in some sea flare activity so we got a whole group of sunspots out here there's that far side one that again we should get a little visual of it soon flare threat is going to be elevated uh, these guys uh, have bumped it up a little bit here I'm, i got a little bit more on mine as far as x flare activity goes and the m flare uh, these guys showing a 35% chance for M-Flare, X-Flare at 5%. Uh, it does look like we're getting um, some protons slamming into the planet, affecting the uh, polar regions here. In this case, it looks like mainly the northern uh, po polar region here. So I think we're going to be entering into a, a week here of very active solar activity. No major roars for now, but that could change here with any subsequent CMEs that are directed. We'll watch for that. A proton event at 25% chance. Like I say, it looks like we are getting hit a little bit with some protons. Uh, taking a quick glance here at the next close approach asteroids from the NASA site. Millions of miles away for all of these. Really nothing of any close proximity uh, with regards to these rocks out here. It's floating around in space. Storm Prediction Center, nothing major going on for the severe weather. Pretty quiet out here. Just a marginal risk for some severe weather across, uh, looks like, Oklahoma, Kansas, Colorado area, even portions of the panhandle of Texas. Little 2% chance here for some tornado activity. Wind and just maybe a little bit of hail threat out there. Nothing big. Taking a glance here at the numerical models, as far as any tropical development goes, we don't have Aaron in the picture anymore. Uh, so we're going to put this into motion, see what we may have stirring up out here. Nothing. Nothing in the long terms, but this could uh, obviously change. I don't see any impacts there uh, as far as any tropical systems hitting uh, any regions for now. Uh, I do want to check out the uh, models here when it comes to pressure and temperature out here uh cooler fall-like temperatures out here across great lakes area even down in the portions of the south uh, that's going to be for the first start of the week here this coming week um man i'm hoping for something out along the west coast it looks like maybe we'll be about average or so i don't see any dominant high pressure systems out there but i i don't see any low pressure troughs either so 
kind of neutral at the moment, but I'm ready for some uh, fall temperatures. I get it. September. We're not even into September yet, but uh, I, man, I'm, I'm wanting it uh, really bad. I'm not a big fan of this heat. All right, folks. We'll uh, just kind of watch things, see how it goes here. We do have some protons hitting the planet. Uh, Going to see how that uh, affects the earthquake activity out here today. We'll be off here on the side, kind of monitoring things. Have a good one. Enjoy uh, what's left of the weekend here. Take care and stay safe out there.